Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be trying out Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is Apple's subscription-based video game platform. Apple partnered with top game developers from major companies to produce games that are slightly more advanced than your typical mobile game. Apple Arcade is $4.99 a month, but if you click the link in my description, you can get a free 30-day trial. This isn't sponsored and my link isn't even an affiliate link. I just really wanted to try out Apple Arcade during this stay at home period. One of the best things about Apple Arcade is its cross device functionality. You can start a game on your iPhone, pick it up on your iPad and finish on your Mac or Apple TV. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be trying out Apple Arcade games first on my iPhone, then on my Mac and I'm gonna try it out with a Bluetooth controller, like this Xbox controller right here. So, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna try it free for a month, and then it's $4.99 a month. Over 100 ad-free games, no in-app purchases. It's perfect. Hi. I always make that face when I do Face ID. You can also do family sharing where sharing lets up to five members of your family enjoy your subscription at no additional cost. I'll do that after, start playing. So we're gonna start with, hmm, Agent 8 needs our help. And Spider, guide this little hero through high risk spy missions. Let's look at the top arcade games this week. So I am a huge fan of Crossy Road and I have heard of this Crossy Road Castle. It's both horizontal and vertical, so the castle element is climbing the castle, I guess. Let's try that out. Yeah. Let's see the video. <laughs> the age is four plus. All right, that's one of the ones we'll try out. Let's download a couple more. Word laces, solve puzzles, collect shoes. And it also shows when you click on each game, shows the rating, the age, the category, the number of players, the developer, the language, and the size. And these come with hefty sizes. I was expecting this, but looking at this Word Laces game, it's 1.3 gigabytes. Crossy Road Castle? Oh, it's only 200 megabytes. Not too bad. All right, play. Oh wow, look at the Apple Arcade logo. <laughs> Hipster Whale, coolest developer name ever. Crossy Road Castle, okay. Play. Okay, tap. Better with friends, play a multiplayer game. All right, so it really wants to push that. Oh, this is kind of like the Wii. It is kind of hard to see these games on your phone, but it's very intuitive. Okay, so you stomp on those people, kind of like Doodle Jump. I just don't like having the buttons at the bottom, but this might be because of the Xbox. I think I can hook up the Xbox controller to my phone. Oh, I died. Okay, I died again. All right, so Crossy Road is over for now. Next up, let's try, let's try that Crawly game, Agent 8. How many gigs is this though? Single player, 1.9 gigabytes. That probably means that this game is gonna compare to like an Xbox type of game where you're crawling and there's so many different elements to it. It's gonna be way beyond just like Angry Birds. So far, I really liked the Crossy Road game. It took what you love about a mobile game and made it slightly more advanced with more levels and more interactivity. Okay, Spider is downloaded, so let's check it out. I'm kind of excited for this one. Not excited for how much storage it takes up, but oh, sideways. I love this logo, it's so cool. I like games that take up the full screen like this. It's pretty beautiful. Play. Sin activity. Play. Prevent the launch of the missile. These games even have to load, which is like, unlike anything I usually see. Unless you're playing like Asphalt 8. All right, I've just stopped the missile strike. Oh, he's kind of cute. He kind of looks like Wally. Two finger swipe to look around. All right, I'm looking around. Now move around. 
find the documents. Can you go faster? Two hours later. They need to get an unredacted copy. I don't know if this little like thing is like go up. Okay. Maybe it's because it's the first level, but those centimeters just show what you have to do next. It does not seem so hard. Oh, okay, I see. He, like, falls. How does he jump? Should he just yeet himself off the cliff? <laughs> Web splat. Slender Man is in the corner. We don't want that. Um, Alright, I don't really know. There's so many obstacles, it's like first you're out of ink, then you the document's redacted, like find the new ink cartridge. This is just basically a spider that's become a secretary. They could have made this game so cool. I hope the other levels are cool though. Pick up. Okay, you picked it up. Remember the floor is wired for alarms. I mean, on the bright side, this is kind of a cool game to play. Like it's kind of relaxing, but this one isn't as good as the crossy road in my opinion. Unless it gets really intense, but it doesn't seem like that type of game on the first level. So, I'm closing out of it. So that gives you an idea for two games so far on my phone. And then let's try one more. Alright, so now we're gonna do the try controllers with Apple Arcade. Let's see, how to connect a controller. Let's see if we can do multiplayer. It says, Apple TV 4K and Apple TV HD support up to two controllers at once, and other Bluetooth limits vary by device. So I'm just trying to find out which one to do. A bullet hell dungeon climber. That's, that's sensory overload, like. I don't know. I'm gonna download this one, Ultimate Rivals the Rink, because I'm ultimately looking to show you guys a game that I can just kind of get started with right away. It is 2.4 gigabytes. Apple Arcade takes up so much space. Like if you download all of these games, meh. So I am ultimately gonna try it out on my computer, but while we wait for that, I'm gonna hook this up to my phone and we're gonna get going with one of the hockey apps. I'm ready to play this game. Where's the Apple Arcade logo? Come on, people. Ha. <laughs> okay. Tap anywhere to start. It looks like it's affiliated with hockey games. Okay. <gasps> it's working. I'm not even reading what this is though. <laughs> Maybe I should go back. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna pick a dude. Maybe this guy. This is pretty sick. I'm playing it on my phone and it's moving. Wow. All right, now let's do it. Mookie Betts was unlocked. He plays for the Sox, so let's go. All right, get some action. Looks like I have it. Ha, goal. Oh, I think I just like low-key hacksawed that goalie. I didn't mean to. I just can't really see what I'm doing. Do I have the puck? I don't even know. I don't even know if that was the puck, if I just hockey puck chucked. All right, it looks like I have it now. Okay, two goals. All right, so I won the first period, there we go. So that's enough of this for now. The controller works so great. It's almost like it's an Apple controller. It's such a seamless integration. I'm very impressed with it and I can't wait to see how it works with my computer on the TV. All right, I'm gonna download this game that I was playing on my phone and see if I can see it better. I was just listening to this song while it was downloading. This Town featuring Sasha Sloan by Kygo, highly recommend. It's a great song. The following screen recording glitches, but here are the highlights from my computer gameplay. I didn't read these directions again. Probably the shortcomings of my last hockey debacle. Alright, the screen is bigger and I still don't know what I'm doing with this game, so... Verdict is out on that. Two minutes later. Goal! That's two for two. I'm a hockey player. I guess I should just start a hockey YouTube channel. 
hockey gameplay. This reminds me a lot of the game Rocket League. I just chucked it at the goalie's head. I saw it that time. Before on the phone, I didn't know if I was doing that, but I was. What the heck? Did he just like take the Stanley Cup and go or something? Did he die? I don't really understand what that meant. What? This is like some Game of Thrones thing. I wasn't even expecting this. What the heck? Victory! Alright, so that's Apple Arcade. Can you hear my computer? Some nice ASMR fan version for you. Could be because I had quick time running while I was going, but you never know. Apple Arcade is a lot more fun when you're using an Xbox controller no matter what device you're on. I had no issues connecting this, so I really do recommend this. This is an Xbox One controller, I believe, and it works great. It was so seamless to connect this. So highly recommend this. Highly recommend a lot of the Apple Arcade games. You try each of them out on different platforms. For a game like the hockey game, you definitely want to watch it on a bigger screen. But for a game like Crossy Road Castle, you can play that on your phone. I mean, playing it on the computer might be fun too, but I feel like that's more of a phone game. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of Apple Arcade and if you knew that you could use an Xbox controller. I think that's a pretty sick deal and $4.99 a month is not that much compared to the price of Xbox Gold and the price of an Xbox itself. So I mean it's not going to be as advanced as Xbox games, I do still think of it as a more advanced mobile game. But it's gonna grow, it's gonna get better. For this to be the first year of Apple Arcade and these are the games that are showing up, I like it. I think out of the three games we tried, the one I liked the least was that Spider game because it was putting me to sleep. But maybe that's just because I was on the first level, but still, like getting ink and putting it into a printer was like boring. And then the one I liked the most was definitely Crossy Road Castle. I could see everything I was doing. It felt like it was a more advanced mobile game that was still fit for mobile. I put the hockey one in the middle because the mobile version of it, I could not see what the heck I was doing. So yeah, if you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. I post a new video every Thursday and I will see you guys next week. Peace. Stay healthy out there.